Hello, in the previous videos we have talked about the tools and project structure. Most of it was theoretical. Now let's finally do something practical. So let's see how to create a new environment by using the Cloud Console and from the CLI. As I have explained in the first videos, production and staging environments are infrastructure as a service environments, whereas others like master and uh, other custom created by us will be platform as a service environments. Those custom environments are called integration environments and you can use them for simple testing while you are developing new features. However, the final test should be conducted in the staging environment, which is an exact copy of the production environment. Let's then start with the Cloud Console. And in order to create a new environment, we need to firstly select a branch that will be our parent and from which our environment should be created. Therefore, let's choose the master one. And the cloud will actually clone that parent environment. So for starters, it will create a branch exactly like a git command does. So we will have exactly the same source code as in the parent branch. And additionally, database from the parent environment will be dumped and imported to our fresh integration environment. And also files like media or logs will be cloned to your fresh instance. To start this process, we need to click on the branch button. Here we have a model saying that branching from master environment. We need to put a name of our branch. Let's put it develop and the environment type we will leave as development. And what's interesting, um, our Cloud Console is already uh, suggesting us a comment that can be done from Magento Cloud CLI. So the action can be done by using Magento Cloud branch, the name of the, um, the, the name of the environment that we want to create, master, which is the parent environment, and we also select a type of a environment. So we can just copy it and we will actually do it later but let's just for now click on create a branch. So we are redirected to a new view for an environment called develop. And here is our like control panel for this environment. And of course, um, this process takes a couple of minutes. So um, let's maybe go here to see if we have some logs. Okay, so we can see in this view that already our cloud, uh, Adobe Commerce Cloud started some processes. So um, for example, we have like already created a new branch from the master one. There is a building application, My Magento. We have provisioned some certificates. And right now we can see that creating environment develop as a clone of a master and taking a temporary backup of the parent environment. So I will just uh, skip to the next part. All right, the build is done, but it actually took longer than I expected because it was processing for 47 minutes. And I remember that it usually takes between 10 to 20 minutes. So maybe it was related to some uh, large uh, number of files or uh, size of the database. But if we scroll to top, we already saw some looks uh, from here. So um, the creation of a new branch, then provisioning new certificates, then we prepared a backup of the parent environment. So here is a build process and deployment uh, process. Um, then we open an environment, we delete temporary backups. Here we execute post deploy hook for application. And at the very bottom, we have some environment configuration. So we see the relationship. So the services that are connected to our application. And at the very bottom, we have environment routes. So those URLs are pointing to the new environment that was provisioned for us. All right, let's close this view. And here we have an overview of our environment and we can see that some uh, informations were updated. So for example, we have a URL here. We have information that our environment is active. And uh, here in the activity list, we have uh, like recent activities. And if we switch to the all tab, we have like all activities that has happened in this environment and uh, maybe this will be useful for you but if you click on this button you have an uh, option to enable or disable like um, different kind of like types of uh, those activities so we can for example uh, select all so we will see every single activity uh, here in this list 
All right, so we know how to do it from the cloud console. Let's switch to our shells and see how we can do it by using Magento Cloud CLI. So firstly, let's type Magento Cloud list. This will give us a list of the, all the comments that uh, are av available for us. And here is the environment branch command that is actually like an alternative from the button that we had in uh, the cloud console. So let's type Magento Cloud environment branch and type help to see the description of this um, command and also like what arguments we have here and what options we can provide. And if you remember and we actually switch to our uh, cloud console, if we go to branch, we can copy this and let's see uh, this in shell. So here it is. So right now Magento Cloud, of course, branch, this is a shortcut that we can see. Um, so we can either use environment branch or just branch and exactly we have the same here. So new branch is the name of our uh, new environment, right? So this is this um, argument. So let's put, for example, feature X and then the parent. So um, let's create now an environment that will be um, like a child of a develop uh, environment that we just created. You also can specify the type. Uh, there is also an option to title the new environment. We can specify that we do not want to clone the parent environment's data. Uh, so basically, I think we can even try to do this. Maybe this will be quicker. And we have some additional options, like for example, no wait. So um, if we, let's maybe um, confirm that action and let's wait. So right now we can see like some log outputs, but we can interrupt this process because this process is all happening in the Adobe Commerce Cloud. It's not done locally, so we can actually like cancel it, right? And basically if we put this no wait flag, this would mean that our shell will not wait for the completion of it, right? And if we switch to our cloud console, we can see that there is a new activity. So there is a, a branch environment feature X from develop and our new environment is deployed. And this build was actually a lot of quicker because it took only six minutes. So if we go and click on the logs, um, as you remember here, after the provisioning of the certificates, we had this section with information that there was a backup of a, a parent environment and there is no such thing here. So we just directly went to the performing the deployment and build processes. So uh, Adobe Commerce Cloud installed like the fresh version, well, like with the fresh DB without any files from the parent environment. Uh, and yeah, we have another URLs at the bottom and it was only six minutes. This is the essence of the Adobe Commerce Cloud. By executing one command, you get provision ready to use environment without ever wondering on how to set it up. You just focus on development. Thank you for watching, and in the next video, we will tackle how to deactivate, activate, and delete environments.